Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Juice Motor Parts quick tip and or tutorial, whatever you choose to call it. I'll make this quick. But uh, when you're installing your gas tank on your uh, motorized bicycle, this is a really old one. Um, but some tips that you could definitely use uh, to avoid what happened to us a few times was um, if you can use some double-sided tape when you're um, and put it along the center and then install it, uh, install your, your tank, that'll help the tank from shaking around, moving from side to side. Uh, it's definitely a good idea to you know, put some double-sided tape here, as you can see here, it was, um, it was here before. But a problem that we've noted with these tanks that you should be very aware of is the tendency for these tanks to break around the mounts here. So what happens is you install this on your bike, right? And you put in your um, your C clamp type clamps, and you start tightening. You keep tightening, and you keep tightening until it's nice and tight, and it feels solid, right? Yeah, I know it feels really solid. Yeah, but then afterwards you start, you know, you ride around for a bit, you know, you uh, you occasionally take your engine up to speeds that causes the bike to vibrate a lot, to vibrate a lot, and eventually what happens is the vibrations cause these studs. Um, these are such poor weld, welds on these tanks, it causes these stilts to kind of vibrate and cause little micro cracks um, right on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the place where the studs interface with the gas tank. Inevitably what will happen is you'll have these little small leaks and you'll, you know, it may not be large at first, the way it usually starts is it may not be, um, it may not be very, uh, you know, a lot of gasoline leaking out at once, but you'll like notice that there's parts of your engine that smells like gas and you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Um, and that's how it usually starts, really small. And then one day you'll you'll take a look and you'll see that along these threads they'll be like kind of oily or greasy, and that's definitely a sign that um, your gas tank uh, you've uh, started these micro cracks have started to develop along the weldments um, that, that that keeps the studs and the uh, and the gas tank together. Uh, one way that you could avoid this um, this is something that we uh, that we started doing is you use this uh, this kind of putty. Um, it's actually made by JB Weld, so you know it's an irreparable brand. Uh, this one is called Water Weld, so it's um, like kind of a an epoxy, but it's in a uh, it's in like a like a putty form. So you see on the inside there's a white part and a gray part. You kind of just smush those and mix those together, and then um, you know I have it I have it here an example right here where you just nicely just put it up uh, along the uh, along along the weldments. Um, we've tried using the black silicon, but that doesn't really work. It'll just kind of, um, over time, the gasoline will kind of, um, uh, the gasoline oil will kind of eat away at it, unfortunately. But um, you definitely want to use a putty, like it dries rock hard, and it's, you know, it has a nice, a nice, um, a nice solid seal to it, and that should, that should prevent it, uh, you know, prevent the, uh, the clamps from kind of fastening over, um, you know, fastening out, actually, these, uh, these studs. So that's like a secondary precautionary measure, um, and uh, yeah, that's all we have to say about these about these tanks. Other than that, like they seem to be pretty good. It's a good amount of um, gasoline that they hold, and it you know looks pretty nice on the bike too. So again, thanks guys for watching this uh, Juice Motor Parts quick tip section on your gas tanks. It's on your gas tanks. If you want any more tips uh, or and or high performance um, tips, visit our website at juicemotorparts.com. Check out our high performance tip section or even the other videos that we have posted. Thank you for your attention, guys, and as always, get juiced.